is here. If any of you are new, this is the hardcore survival series that I've been doing on my channel. Pretty much, if I die, it is all over. Before we get into it, though, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Me and Jelly have been chatting a little bit about possibly starting up a Skyblocks goodness. server, which you guys will be able to join. It'll have a ton of features. We'll be able to all play together and get up to all sorts of stuff. If that's something you guys might be interested in, then click like on this video. Let's see if we can get this to 100,000 likes. And that'll let us know if you're interested or not. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the episode. It feels like it has been such a long time since we were last doing a Skyblock video. And well, that's that's because it has been. But I have actually been playing quite a lot. Loft? Okay. Quite a lot off screen. So I should probably catch you up with that first. Why is there string inside of the... Uh, nether sport. Okay, I have questions about that. Anyway, I should probably show you what's changed. First of all, the most important thing, we have bridged over to some new islands. We managed to get to the mushroom island, picked up some mushrooms. We've got new ones growing over there, and I've just finished building over to this, like, snowy type biome, but I haven't uh, got any of those resources yet. There's also the sand biome over there. You can sort of see it. We haven't gone there yet. We've got to be careful that one. We don't want to do a jelly and have it all fall. We've done a few upgrades to the zombie sp Is that a skeleton? What is he doing up there? I thought I made that mob proof. Let's go solve that issue. Just a reminder to anyone who is just uh, tuning in. This is my hardcore skyblock survival. If I die right now, I would die forever. Why did he take one hit to kill? Where did he come from? Looks like we've got some witches in this thing. I've done a few upgrades to this. Witches, come here. You gotta go. Ow! Don't hit me. Wait, why do these things take so long to kill? Die, die. Duck. There we go. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. They put me down to half hearts. Okay, I think I'm fine. There we go. Half hearts. That is terrifying. We now have a collecting chest. Ooh, a potion of healing. I've been clearing it out quite a lot, so this is just from recent, but this has been a huge help. We managed to gather enough iron from having this thing running to build these hoppers. We've also updated the farms a bit. We've got the wheat farm now, the proper, like, uh, coffee bean thingy. It's looking a lot much better and it's performing a lot better. Why Why is a melon not grown here? That's a bit weird. Anyway, you might be looking at this and wondering what is going on here? Well, that's what I want to explain to you. I've actually figured out a way to make unlimited dirt. That's right. The ultimate cheat for skyblocks is creating more dirt. A lot of you know that usually it's the most important resource in the game. Well, not anymore. Let me show you a little bit how it works. So this over here is called coarse dirt. Now, if I take this hoe over here and I hoe it it turns into normal dirt it's important because let me show you over here this gravel that we managed to get from the zombies that drop in our little spawner if you combine that with dirt all you have to do is put it like this and you can create coarse dirt but you only need two normal dirt to create four coarse dirt so let me just do that all we have to do is place it down in here like this there we go. Grab our stone hoe. Just like that, we have. We've created new dirt. It wasn't all that easy. I did actually fail to do this because I thought for some reason that building composters created dirt. And well, I filled it up and I only got bone meal from it. So I guess that was wrong. But that's why I have composters here. I thought that that was the secret tactic, but it, it wasn't. Anyway, what else have we got to show you? Oh, yeah. Let's go check our little mob platform. So one of the other things I did off camera was I built a grass platform in the distance over here. The idea of this is to be able to spawn like friendly mobs like cows and stuff. It doesn't seem to be working very well. I don't know if there's a better technique for this. This was the swamp biome. I used this dirt to get uh, over there, like in a line, because this bit over here is a considered a normal biome or whatever. But yeah, there's no, nothing, no animals have spawned here yet. I think I'm the correct distance away, I guess. I don't know. Maybe one day we'll have some animals spawn there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but as I was saying, I was very lucky to get two chicken zombies. Now what those are, uh, if you don't know, are they're little zombies riding chickens. Now if you kill the zombies, you get chickens walking around. So what I managed to do, was breed those two chickens. And now we have a little chicken farm. Hey guys. Oh, we got more eggs. Perfect. So yeah, I've just been kind of getting a ton of chickens here now. But yeah, super happy that I managed to get some chickens. That's awesome. Now, another thing I've been doing a lot of is fishing. I can't build a automatic fish farm yet. Well, I think I can actually. I've been saving up. I, I haven't really had a lot of iron and you need an iron trap door for that. And I don't really want to do that yet. But I've been fishing in here loads. This is some of the stuff that I've saved. I finally got a name tag, so hopefully today 
we're going to use that for something fun. But anyway, I think that brings us up to date on what has been going on on the sky block. The sun is going down already. Perfect timing to head to bed, actually. Let's head to sleep once again. We do not want those little terrifying birds to bug us uh, at all. But anyway, what are we going to get up to today? I think it's about time that we build a house. I have extended the platform out here, which I think should be perfect to build our first home. So let's grab some of our resources. Actually, I was thinking, let's... Um, I, do I, yeah, got some charcoal. Let's cook some of this so that we can have something that isn't cobblestone for once. That would be quite nice. And while we do that, we can start building kind of the, the structure, the, the foundation, I guess. We're going to try out doing like a stone, brick, and wood type thing. It's going to look a little bit odd, but, you know, that's the fun of it. We've got some of our stone brick cooked, so let's turn that into... There we go. I meant some smooth stone. Then we can turn that into stone brick and start having a look around. I'm gonna try and experiment stuff like this. I wanna see what it looks like. I don't know if it's a bit weird having the wood like that, but that's the whole point of this, you know, trying out different things. It's fun. All right, there we go. That's kind of the first section, I guess, of the house. Kind of got like a pointy front and then it squares off at the back to be a little bit more usable, I guess. Now we just got to figure out how we're going to do the rest of it. I think from here, we are going to like along like this. I think that looks really, pretty cool. I don't want too much brick in it because we are surrounded by gray so if I can avoid that as much as possible, that would be great. Now, the only thing is that doesn't really make a lot of sense with this part. So I wonder if we should just do that there. We continue the brick there. And then we'll continue this all the way around. I think it's coming together. It's looking good. All right. It's coming together pretty well. Let me get rid of these blocks over here. Don't need those. So I think I finished like the interior of this. I'm just working on trying to build a second floor. I'm, I just realized I did that. That's a mistake. I need to figure out how to do that a little bit better. This is going to be like a little balcony thing, I guess, that you can sit on. And I think I'm probably going to make this like the top. That looks a little bit weird, doesn't it? I guess we'll just leave it like that for now. Need to make some fences. Where did my crafting bench go? So I want it to go up from here and then across and then connect it to whatever we put as the roof. I think that would look pretty good. Don't think I want it going across the middle, but I did want to see if... Oh yeah, I think that looks good. Look at that. We even had the perfect... I spoke too soon. We're missing one fence. But you get the idea. It's coming together pretty nicely. All right. Just filling in the last few blocks there. And I think... Oh, i just fallen down. I think it's looking pretty good. The ceiling's a little bit weird, actually. But you know, it's special. This is Skyblock. We have to kind of make do a little bit. We've used up pretty much all of our resources now, but I'm really liking how it's come together. I wish, actually, we should probably put some fences along here or something. I think that would look better. But let me show you around a little bit. This is the house. There's the ladder up to the top. And then I guess this is where we're going to put our chests and stuff. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We do need to replace the floor, which I think we can do now. So yeah, what I'm going to be doing is placing slabs down down like that so that we've got a wooden floor in here and there we go look at that looking much nicer okay i think what we need to do now is go and get that glass this is not going to be easy otherwise it's just going to always feel not quite right so let's go and grab some resources we've nearly run out of everything but i think we'll make it now you guys have told me and i've finally listened i am using slabs for all of my bridges from now on all right there we go we've got a ton i guess we'll go from the mushroom area to get to the sand i think that's the best option let's get going please please do not fall <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, we're nearly there. As you guys know, this next part is going to be incredibly important because sand does in fact fall in this game. So if we touch those blocks with anything, I think we can stand on it. But if anything touches it, if anything updates the kind of block, uh, yeah, it will fall down. Okay, well, that, that'll do, I guess. Nearly run out of slabs. We do have some blocks, so that's fine. So we want to kind of drop down here and then build down. There we go. Should probably not be wasting this stuff. All right, there we go. Got some more slabs. Perfect. So let's build a little platform completely surrounding the sand so that when it does fall, we will catch it. We are not going to pull a jelly move and have it all fall off of the map. That would be really dumb. Now, I did want to try and make sure I got the cactus first, but I, I guess, I don't know. I, I guess it'll be okay. Whip. All right. Let's just double check that we get the cactus. Why am I terrified of this? All right, let's grab it. 
We managed to get the cactus. All right, sand. The sand isn't dropping. Wait. Oh, no, now it is. There we go. Let's grab all of that. Nearly done. Perfect. Okay. Um, Now we just need to get back up. And it's nighttime. And we didn't put any torches down. Nothing spawned, please. That would be really bad right now. Now, let's get this sand cooking. Question is, how much sand do we cook? I'm not too sure. We want to try and just keep it as minimal as possible. So, boom. Glass plane, 16. I'm pretty sure that's good for everything. Wait, why can I hit? Okay. Zombies are spawned. That's great. Really, really wanted that. Oh my. There is an entire army of zombies upset. What is going on? No creep. Oh my good. There's like an entire army. It's probably because it's the only available spawn location other than my actual spawner. No, 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 no. Hey guys. Oh, oh my. That nearly blew up right next to us and we have no armor on right now. Whoa. Okay, that's all the creep is gone. And yours gone. And now that spider. Okay, good, 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 good. That's all done. Let's light this up before we get any other problems. Where were we? Glass panes. Completely forgot what we were doing. Is 16 enough? I think it is. I think it is indeed. Look at that. Looking really nice. And then there, there, there. <gasps> I was about to say it was the perfect amount and I misplaced. I was, okay. I'm going to just leave that for a little bit. No one will notice. <laughs> so the last thing that I wanted to do, well, before that, we do need to sleep. There we go. I wanted to use my name tag for something. Now, what that thing is going to be for is uh, it's about time that we made a friend. I want to build a, a very little mini house. I want a, I want a neighbor, basically. And that neighbor is, uh, is going to be special. Let me, just, uh, let me just build this really quick. Just over here is going to be our neighbor and it is going to be built out of dirt. And that way we will always know that our house is better. Look at that. Okay, we're going to need some more dirt. This might take a second. Whoa, what the heck? Okay, that is the first time I have had this happen. A traveling, wandering trader dude has spawned. I mean, we could do with the leads. So, sorry, buddy. There we go. We've got two leads. Nice. Hey, you're coming with me, guys. I want to keep you. Ow! There we go. I've attached them both. Ow, they keep spitting at me. Please do not despawn, guys. I want you as my friends. Now, you might be wondering who is going to be living in this. Well, not that trader because, well, he died. We are actually going to have our a little zombie join us in there. So we need to wait until it's nighttime. And then we are going to lead one of these zombies in there. And they are going to be our neighbor. Now, to make sure that the zombie doesn't despawn, we are going to need our uh, name tag. We are actually going to name it after the person that suggested that we build a Minecraft house today from the last video in the comment section. And uh, can you guys stop? Okay, you know what? And yes, there we go. There we go. Who's laughing now? Huh? What have we what have we done? They are gonna be forever tortured for this. That's what you get when you mess with me. Back to the name tag. Burpee is the name of the commenter who suggested building a house. So thank you very much, Burpee. And we're not gonna use it yet. We're gonna actually wait until it's nighttime because that's gonna be a lot safer for leading a zombie. But we do need to get ready. Um, we have some ladders, which is probably actually pretty good. What we'll do is we'll build a little escape route like that. And then we'll lead the zombie in, block it off, and then we're out. That's perfect. Ah, uh, Oh, I forgot to light this up. Oh, no. All right. We got some stuff to do. I need to build a, a better sword. And we need some torches, which we haven't got any charcoal. Oh, my. No. Oh, my. Look how much he put me down to. Three hearts. That was terrifying. All right. We got some torches. What is going on over here? Why are so many mobs spawning? Good thing we... Oh, no. I just hit... A, no. I just hit an enderman. No. 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 I'm on one heart for heart. No. 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 No way. I can't believe it. That's it. The Enderman killed me. I didn't even get to use my name tag. Sorry, I'm kind of in a bit of shock right now. I didn't, don't know what to do. Well, I didn't think it would be happening today, but we knew it would happen at some point. I have died in my hardcore Skyblock survival world. We are not coming back here, so say goodbye. 
Perhaps, though, this would be a good time to move on. I know Jelly has just made it to the mainland in his Skyblock series. So if you guys want me and Jelly to team up and create a Skyblock server, so maybe it would be best if you guys can help me out. <laughs> we can play with some fun mods, all sorts of stuff on a server. So if that's something you guys are interested in, yeah, then make sure to click like to let me know. And anyway, I think it's time for you guys to say goodbye to this Minecraft world. We've had a good time, but I guess we now need to move on. Some say those llamas never stopped hanging. <laughs>